So there's this old saying about ducks. It says if it looks like a duck, and it swims like a duck, and it walks like a duck, and it quacks like a duck, then odds are that it might just be a duck. So with that philosophical knowledge under my belt, that has me wondering if my favorite airplane, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, may in fact just be a duck. We talk about ducks next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here, coming to you this week from beautiful San Diego, California. I hope you are all doing well wherever you may be all around this great big world of ours. Really quick, I just want to take a minute to thank all of you who have subscribed to the channel. We have seen explosive growth on the channel this year and I couldn't have done that without each and every one of you. Yeah, I know a lot of you hate this whole chit chat thing at the beginning of my videos. I see the comments. Come on YouTube clown, just get to the story already. And I get that. But sometimes I just do need to make sure you know that I really do appreciate you taking the time to make Maximus Aviation one of your regular YouTube aviation stops. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because I'd love to have you as part of the Maximus Aviation family too. Bloomberg is reporting today that Boeing is scrutinizing the flight deck windows of some of its 787 Dreamliners as Boeing expands its search for potential manufacturing flaws that continue to delay the Dreamliner deliveries. In its latest defect search, Boeing has been testing the cockpit windows on a limited batch of aircraft after learning that a supplier modified its production process. A source said Boeing wants to ensure the windows will still meet its requirements after the change, but the testing isn't expected to affect March deliveries, another source said. The emergence of yet another potential glitch comes as Boeing's mechanics and engineers work to restart 787 Dreamliner deliveries by the end of this month in line with what executives promised during a January earnings call. Boeing still hasn't delivered any of its Dreamliners since October after discovering more of the tiny dimples in the inner lining where the carbon fiber fuselage barrels are joined. New issues with the plane could pose problems for shipments beyond this month, making it more difficult for Boeing to meet its delivery target for the year. When asked about the window checks, a Boeing representative referred back to the company's March 9 statement that said it's progressing through inspections and rework as necessary on undelivered airplanes. Based on our current plans, we continue to expect to resume delivering 787s by the end of March. However, in a statement, the company said we will continue to take the time necessary and will adjust any delivery plans as needed. Production disruptions have forced Boeing to store more than 80 Dreamliners around its factories and in the California desert, creating new worries just as the 737 MAX crisis is subsiding. For some customers, the delays threaten the hamstring aircraft, for which financing is already lined up. While for others, the expanding inspections will provide an excuse to avoid taking expensive new jets at a time when international travel has been stalled due to the ongoing pandemic. Boeing has been working with its suppliers since last year to find the source of manufacturing flaws with its 787 Dreamliner aircraft. Spirit Aerosystems, which makes the Dreamliner's nose and cockpit, said last month that it too is conducting an engineering analysis of so-called non-conformities on its portion of the carbon fiber fuselage. So I see this story today and it seems like it is yet just another defect that has popped up overnight. However, with just a simple Google search, I found out that this is not the case at all. As a matter of fact, Dreamliner windows have been cracking mid-flight dating back to 2012. So then that begs the question, why are they still cracking in 2021? And why can't Boeing figure out why? This story, for example, from the New York Times dated January 11th, 2013. Boeing's newest and most sophisticated jet, the 787 Dreamliner, suffered more mishaps on Friday when all the Pan Airlines of Japan reported incidents involving planes on two domestic flights. 
Cracks appeared Friday in the cockpit window of a 787 Dreamliner heading from Tokyo to Matsuyama in southern Japan. The plane landed safely, but this was the third time that cracks had appeared in the windshield of one of the 17 of the 787s operated by ANA. The other two incidents happened in 2012. Then this story from Jalopnik dated May 17, 2014. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner is experiencing a scary ongoing problem that nobody can seem to solve. The cockpit windows are cracking at an alarming rate. Air India was the latest to confront this issue as recently as May 9, 2014. A flight departing Frankfurt for Delhi had to return to the airport when a crack appeared shortly after takeoff. The airline says they've experienced five instances of cracked 787 windscreens, including two on the same plane, which is the plane most recently affected. Also in 2014, an Ethiopian Airlines Dreamliner developed a cracked windscreen at cruising altitude during a flight from Rome to Washington, Dulles. The plane turned back to Rome and landed safely. For this, on August 21, 2014, from India TV, they said it's raining trouble for Air India's Dreamliner fleet. Well, that's pretty dramatic. As one of the aircraft was forced to return to New Delhi on Thursday after developing a windshield crack mid-air on its way to Calcutta. Although there are several layers in an aircraft's windshield and the cracks occur mostly on the outer layer, which does not affect flight safety, the pilots decided to return after the incident, they said. In this story from November 27, 2019 from The Independent, they reported a transatlantic flight was forced to divert to Ireland when pilots noticed a crack in the cockpit windscreen while flying at 38,000 feet. Air Canada flight AC-857 was flying from London Heathrow to Toronto when a crack in the side window was discovered mid-flight. The aircraft had passed Ireland and was beginning its journey across the Atlantic when the decision was made to turn back to land in Dublin. Then again, in September of 2019, another Air Canada Dreamliner, Flight AC-26, was forced to make an emergency landing at Tokyo Narita due to a cracked windshield. And then in February of 2019, a Scoot Tiger Air Boeing 787-9 returned to land at Singapore, Shanghai due to a cracked windshield. I could go on, but you get the idea. Regardless of whether the cracked windows are on the outer layer or not, why Boeing can't figure this out is really puzzling. And the same goes for the problems with the carbon composite gap defects. That isn't new either. It just seems the news media has a short memory these days. While the issue has only been in the headlines recently since 2020, the same exact carbon fiber and shim problem arose as early as 2012, one year after the Dreamliner launched. This is from a Reuters article in 2012. Pay close attention to this article and see if it sounds familiar. Remember, like I said, this is 2012. Earlier this month, Boeing reported incorrect shimming and signs of delamination on a support structure in the rear fuselage. Delamination occurs when repeated stress causes laminated composite materials to begin to separate. Going in and removing a new shim that's in place today and replacing it with a new shim is disruptive. It'll take about two weeks to replace it, a Boeing spokesman said. Shims are used to fill the tiny gaps in composite material. The repair will be done concurrently with other work on the 787, so it will not necessarily add that amount to the production of each streamliner. Again, remember this was written in 2012. Then the company said this week that as many as 55 assembled Dreamliners could have the shimming problem. But the company, which has delivered only 5 787 so far, has stood by its production rate target. So what is the point of bringing up these old articles? Well, it's simple really. These latest so-called revelations about the carbon composite issues or the cracked windows are being reported lately as new defects and issues that have just popped up lately. But the problem is that Boeing has been having all the exact same issues since the day the first plane rolled out of the factory, and yet nearly 12 years later they're still trying to correct these flaws. Well, like I said at the top, sometimes if it quacks like a duck, it might just be a duck. Or it could just be Boeing management. Well, that's what I think. Now it's your turn. Let me know down below. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And remember, 
leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.